Patty, it's Tamika, and I just wanted to come and introduce to you a swap for September that I'll be hosting. So um, all of the information that I don't mention in this video will be uh, on my blog. I will put a link in the description box. So a lot of times I forget a lot of things and you can always go there and read the full um, explanation and instructions for play, participating in the swap. So be sure to check the description box. So I wanted to host this swap um, for a long time and it was lingering in the back of my head from when Regina, who was the owner of the Cutting Cafe, hosted one a couple years ago. I wasn't able to play in that, but I've always wanted to do it. So here we go. Um, inspiration behind this is being able to um, swap with others goodies from across the United States. So there's a lot of times where I see haul videos from Michaels or Tuesday morning or um, Daiso and, I'm, and I don't have those items. I don't have a Daiso by me. So that's like the first thing. So any of you Daiso people, I would love for you to play. But um, things that I don't have in my bins and it's so frustrating. So I thought this is an easy way to kind of get a good mix of goodies that you may not um, be able to have access to. So this is going to be a quick and easy video. It opens today, September 3rd, and the once the groups are filled, of course the swap will be closed, and the group listings will be on my blog on Sunday, September the 6th. Um, there's the Ustream coming up Saturday, and I'll, I don't want to guarantee that, the, that they'll be up in time, but they'll for sure be up with your group partners on um, September 6th on the blog, sometime during the day. So be sure to check the link in the description box. There will be a group of four. So that means you'd have to send three packages and each package must contain five new items from any of the um, stores, the following stores that have the dollar bin, the dollar fifty bin, things like that. So it has to be new and you need five um, different things and you need three sets of those swaps. So um, you can get things from Michaels, of course, Joanne, Hobby Lobby. Big Lock, Tuesday Morning, Daiso, the Dollar Tree, Target Dollar Spot, all of those places has, have good dollar, dollar fifty items. So um, the only exception to it not being new, unused, um, is trim. So if you have some favorite trim that you want to share, the trim must be at least um, one and a half, well, 18 inches. So, and each item has to be different. So if you sent three, um, feet or one yard of trim that still counts as one item so you send as much as you want over 18 inches but it's still just one item so let me give you a quick example um, oh besides the swap um, besides the goodie bag swap of course you have to package it up and label it with your information you have to make a three by three note card and envelope because everybody can use a note card and it's good to have those keep those in your stash so this is my example of how my swap will look I purchased these bags from um, Michaels. They're in the clearance bin. So my pa my partners will receive this and they can reuse this um, packaging. So I just altered it with two little rhinestones to bling pieces. So my information is here. I had to just place a little card here. And then in the inside I put my favorite things 2015 hosted and created by me and I just put an S here maybe you know whoever to personalize it so maybe there is no S in my group but I just wanted to share you guys share with you guys what I did so my note card I just had it sorry sorry for my chair I didn't create a note card for this swap yet but as an example you have to make a three by three note card and envelope I'll just use this one you guys have seen it before and here it is this is a flat you must have at least um, two items on it. So whether it's pattern paper and a die cut or a pattern paper and a flower or whatever, just have to have at least two items on your note card and then make an envelope. Very simple. And your five items, you can have a theme or you don't have to have a theme. This particular one I made to have one as a Christmas theme. So my idea is you get a set of note cards. That's a set of five, I believe. Oh, six six note cards and envelopes and then you can decorate your note card with this bling it's a package of bling you can wrap your gift up using some twine decorate it with some flowers and then create a gift tag for whoever it is you're making a gift for and this these items are Christmas themed so um, 
So these are my five new items that I got. That's in my, these all items are all from the Michaels bin. Okay? Um, so I just want you to be creative and, you know, try to, um, yeah, just try to be creative as you can. So um, that's that. And then another example is if you don't have a theme, let's just say you're sending it in a clear bag with a topper and whatever it is you're doing to alter your bag for presentation. These things don't have a theme per se. So like this was um, $2.50, a paper pad. But I know Tuesday morning sometimes sells pads for $1.99. So maybe you want to do that. Every crafter needs some double-sided tape. Um, some frames, some flowers, and some wood pieces. So these don't coordinate, but these are all five new things that you could use um, as an example with, without a theme. Okay? You can also package it in, you know, a bag, alter a paper bag, emboss something. You know, just be creative with your packaging. Give it, um, send it as if you were sending a goodie to someone else. Okay, so um, the swaps are due postmark to me by October 1st. This swap is so easy. Like, I got done with this, and it didn't take long. 10 minutes. So, it was super easy. So, everything should be able to get to me by October 1st. Postmark by October 1st. Postage is $5.70. And speaking of that, you must be able to, if you're sending your swap in boxes and things like that, just keep in mind that... I send them back in this padded priority envelope, which is the 570. Um, but just keep in mind that if you're sending boxes or something that's a little bit bulkier, send a little bit extra postage via PayPal so I can offset it and maybe send an alternative um, packaging method to your um, group. So I know a lot of you do that. If you're sending something bulky, you'll send extra packaging in case I have to rewrap it in something different. But I just wanted to make sure that um, you know that that's an option too if your packaging doesn't allow it to fit into one of those envelopes. Um, uh, yeah, postmark to me by October 1st. And I think that's it. This is a super simple, super fun, and you know, quick swap that I think you guys will enjoy. I'm interested in seeing uh, some of the new things and some of the new bins. So again, just to quickly wrap it up, you need a 3x3 three three note card, an envelope. Note card must have at least two items on it, and then you'll need to package up a favorite things um, swap, including five new things from any of the stores listed personalized or don't. You don't have to, but at least put your uh, information on there so we can all know where these items came from. So if you're interested in joining the swap, please leave a message down below and I will confirm your spot. And once your spot is confirmed, all of the information will be posted on the blog on Sunday, September 6th. So hope you guys like the uh, swap and you will join and um, like the video if you like it and let me know what you think. Thank you guys.